What's up, guys? Zach Man doing another video update on Tron TRX, as well as all your cryptocurrencies as far as Bitcoin goes. But uh, looking at the chart on uh, Tron, right now we are exactly 26% down from our previous high. So, and if you actually, if I exit out of that, and we'll go back to this part, an actual high high in the last few days we are about 28 percent down so is it a crash yeah i don't know maybe that's just too bold of a term to be using right now but it's definitely not a bull run so we definitely lost the momentum after the BitTorrent token was released so i'm not sure what's happening but it's like i said the, the, the momentum has changed obviously so i know a lot of people are saying that it ain't a crash but I don't know what the definition of a crash is once you're almost 25% down. I know, and obviously when Bitcoin was down, you know, 15, 20%, it was a huge crash. So, uh, again, TRX from the point of the last uh, high run that we had, it was for 27% down. So, you know, and like I said, I think it'll go further down, which again, if I grab my little tool here, uh, it's, well, I can't quite get it there. But if we go down to the last support, we're going to be about 30% which I guarantee you it will hit this uh, about 600 Satoshi. So we're going to be down 30%. And if it continues to go until it meets up with the movement average down here, which would be the 200-day movement average, we could be down, you know, 40, almost, yeah, between 40% basically, which, again, if Bitcoin is considered a crash at 80% of where it's been. So you could say it's a crash, regardless of what you think, but it's a crash. So... That's what we're going with on that one, uh, just because it is down. Unless, like I said, if we get some support here and then it goes back up, then it's just a natural thing that's happening, and then it'll go back up, and then it's just considered just a little little trade, a little sell-off, and then eventually go up. But uh, let's take a look. Uh, basically, is is BitTorrent uh, success capping Tron's demand? So Tron price has slowed down. Uh, as TRX does slip to ninth place, uh, BitTorrent or BTT could be capping TRX demand. Um, basically, the volumes are really low with Tron. You know, it's below 42 million. As of course, that was back in February 4th. But it is you can even see on the chart um, how the volume here is really not in high demand, especially as it was like back here on um, January 11th. And the last time that it was high was yeah, yeah February 4th, and it's kind of slowly tickered back down which is not a bad thing either uh because uh, this thing is going to break loose sooner or later with the volume the way it's going which is either going to be going up or we're going to have a lot more higher sell-off so um, i'm going with the bull run obviously because i have tron so i'm not like hoping that it crashes or nothing like that it's not what i want either but the way it's looking is the way it's looking so can't deny that but uh definitely want a bull run going for that so go back to this. So obviously the accusation of BitTorrent by the Tron Foundation promised to be, and it still is, a massive move by a blockchain startup whose primary objective is to decentralize the web, blah, blah, blah. We already know all that stuff. But uh, basically, uh, it's hard to say because obviously it would, if if this was, if a BitTorrent used TRX as its reward instead of its own... Uh, obviously BitTorrent or BTD you can call it or that's what it is then obviously the price probably would be different I mean TRX probably would have skyrocketed higher because the way that it was released obviously BitTorrent's actually doing pretty good as far as on the charts go wise I mean it's, obviously it's not like a one cent or anything like that but it, it, it hasn't crashed hard like a lot of your other ICUs that are put out there to kind of big decline down but this one's doing pretty good so again it sucks that uh they didn't use trx as for rewarding wise as far as seeding goes and all that stuff just because i think it would have done a lot better um like i said you can look at the chart and all that stuff and it'll again the target's still you know four cents which hopefully does that but if not then it, it could continue but i eventually it will get there don't get me wrong it will uh, it's just unfortunate that we had this nice bull run, but then we have this sell-off, which, again, hopefully it's a sell-off, another big crash. But uh, if you look at Bitcoin right now, uh, again, there's a little bit of a sideways action there. 
as far as that goes, this is uh, Bitcoin on USD, by the way. And then when I look at this chart, it's actually TRX on Bitcoin, just in case anybody's wondering. Um, that's what I, because that's what I have. So I'm going to do a video on what I have there. So, yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's what Bitcoin's at. Again, it's not, not too much movement there. It's still fluctuating between 38, 39. So nothing too crazy going on with that. However, according to Bitcoin, uh, according to IBM, uh, the VP of IBM, uh, or uh, blockchain Jesse Lund, says Bitcoin will hit $1 million. One Bitcoin, $1 million. The Vice President of Blockchain and Digital Currencies for IBM, Jesse Lund, said that he expects Bitcoin price to eventually hit $1 million. Lund made his prediction during an interview with the comparison and news platform Finder.com, published on YouTube on February 20th. Uh, toward the end of the new interview, Lund was asked what he expects the price of Bitcoin to be on this New Year's Eve. He answered that he thinks it's going to be higher than the current price, clarifying, I'll go with 5000 He then continued his prediction, adding, I see Bitcoin at a million dollars someday. So someday, not exactly when, but someday, he says that Bitcoin will hit a million dollars, which could be possible. Could not be possible. Uh, just depend on what happens in the world, especially if the whole banking system collapses, obviously, then we could see it hitting a million dollars. But until then, I don't think it's going to hit a million dollars. We'll be lucky if it even hits 10,000 by the end of this year, the way things are looking. But uh, like I said, definitely 45 is uh, 4,500 is reachable for sure. Uh, just by giving, like I said, when we look at my uh, the way I had the chart set up here. Uh, which again, we have a little bit of a like I said, red candle, but I could see it going back up. Um, yeah, but uh, other than that, guys, you know, hopefully Tron does uh, get to where it needs to go. Where am I? There you go. Wrong button there. Um, but look at the hour chart. Like I said, we're just hitting hitting lower lower lows and lower highs, unfortunately. So definitely still more selling going off. So like I said, it's a, it's a sell off. I mean, obviously it's not a I don't know. I think it's a, it's, it's a crash. Let's just face it. It's a crash. It's crashing. It's going down, um, unfortunately, but hopefully it'll go back up. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.